Hey there, I'm back. Um, this is going to be some more basic features of the calculator before I head back into the appendix of the textbook um, as prescribed. So I've shown how to use the answer feature and the entry feature. I've shown you the difference between negative and minus. That's all in the last video. So now I want to do a few more things. Um, there's some really important stuff. Um, one of the most basic things that you need to know how to do is how to do fractions. So let's suppose I have, oh I don't know, um, five divided by 125. I'm just making this up, so I hope it works. There we go. Okay, so I have this decimal here. You know, and, and that's fine. You get you, you get decimals all the time, but then you might think, oh, but I, what if I want that in a reduced fraction form? Hmm, if only the calculator would convert it to a fraction. Well, it will. Okay, so it's right here in the math button. If you press the math button, there's number one. See number one? It's got this little triangle thing, and then it says fraction. What it's going to do is convert to a fraction. So you can press that. Oops, and it takes the last answer, which is the 0.04, and converts it to a fraction. Press enter. Cool. Oh, wait, but there's more. I could have done it all from the start. 5 divided by 125, math, number 1, and it'll convert it to a fraction. Right? And you can see the buttons I'm pressing right over here. So feel free to pause. Then press enter. Shwing. There, does it all at once. Isn't that awesome? Um, it'll also add fractions this way. So let's say I want 1 over 25 plus 2 thirds. You press enter and it makes this god awful decimal. But if you press math number 1, enter, it makes a fraction for you. It's not pretty, but it does it. All right, cool. What else? Let's know how to do square roots. Square roots are kind of important. So the square root button is right here above the squared button. Right, see right there? So you have to hit second blue button of four. Let's show that. Cool. Now if you do the square root of a number that doesn't work out nicely like seven, let me show you that, it just gives you the first ten decimal places or so because that's an irrational number. Okay, so it's rounding. What else? How about, a, how about a square? Five. Now there's two ways you can do a square. You can do it right here with the squared button. Five squared. Enter. Or you could do five caret. That's actually what that's called. It's called a caret. To the two. Enter. Cool. Alright, now don't confuse that with negative five. So parentheses negative five squared, which is negative 5 times negative 5, which is positive 25. Or what about negative 5 squared? Enter. Uh-oh. Now the calculator's not messing up here. You've got to be careful as an algebra student. Okay? When the negative is in the parentheses, it's getting squared as well. But when it's not, Order of operations says exponents, right, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Exponent, 5 squared, comes before multiplying by a negative. So it makes 5 squared, which is 25, and then multiplies it by a negative, which is negative 25. So be careful with that one. Um, a couple other ones. What about taking 5 to the fifth power? 5 caret 5. Any other powers besides the squared power, you're going to have to use the caret button. Like that. What about 8 to the one-third power, which you would need in 131? You'll have to put the one-third in fractions. Like that. Um, the 8 to the one-third power is the same thing as the third root of 8. Let me show you how to do that. If you see the math button, see number 4 right there? Oh, and by the way, there's a fast way to do cubing if you want to take something to the third power right there. But number four, you want the third root, so press number four, of eight. Enter. And it's two. Now what if you want like the fifth root of 32? Fifth, math, number five, there it is. It'll take the five and put it in there for the x. It knows what it's doing. And you press 32, enter. Alright, there's how to do some of the basic roots. I'll see you here next time for the next video.